What is up, everyone? Azar Real here. Welcome to another ADS Play 101 uploading schedule for the week of Sunday the 22nd, Saturday the 28th. Man, we have a, a good action packed week. Um, got some special news that I want to give out to you guys, as well as promote a couple things. And um, let's tell you guys about what's been happening over the past uh, week or so. Because it's been kind of hectic. It's been kind of cool, but, you know, I think it's still good to inform you guys about it and update you on everything. Obviously, that's what the channel update is for. So I'm not going to waste time, you know, going over it. So this past week, I completed, well, somewhat completed, uh, Sword Art Online uh, Hollow Realization. And I sent both of those, I sent both back. I sent back both uh, Hollow Realization as well as Final Fantasy 15 back to Gamefly. The reason being is because I'm on a four game membership right now. And I accidentally made a mistake to put the prototype biohazard, the biohazard bundle in my queue for it to be sent to me. I accidentally put it in there and they sent it to me. They told me it's fine. Just send it right back to them and I'll be good. So luckily, I still have two extra slots for the for the two games that are coming out. Uh, it's actually tomorrow. That uh, but they're not gonna be sent to me tomorrow. They're actually coming out on the twenty fourth, but they're sending them to me tomorrow. So I guess they'll get to me um at a reasonable time. We have Resident Evil Biohazard and Tales of Basiria. Now, for those who've been paying attention, um, I actually began to rearrange some things and add some new things to my channel so at that time i would like to click over to my youtube channel ads play 101 and uh you guys noticed that i have you know changed up a couple things i got the past you know as you know i've been doing live streams on twitch however this past week i've been testing out the live stream capabilities of youtube and i actually put up a playlist well it's not really a playlist but this is like the list of all of the past live streams that have happened uh, pretty much throughout the week. And I've been playing Street Fighter, Overwatch, Mortal Kombat, you know, just doing like little late night sessions, you know, just to test out the capabilities of the live streams. And so far, so good. So um, that's that. Also, uh, I actually rearranged some things, you know, games that I recently completed in 2017. I actually, and it's actually like three of these got completed back in 2016 but i'd left them up there because they're like the latest ones and i think people would still want to see them so i just left them in there um the current playthroughs world of final fantasy i'm actually going to get back to that but i'm gonna get back to that in a little bit and i also make created a playlist called the demo corner which i'm going to be you know obviously putting out uh videos of of uh of the playthroughs i do for the demos of, of video games it seems to be that they're going to be quite a few of them this year. So I thought it was always good to put um, like a demo playlist out there. And so far I played the Resident Evil 7 teaser, the beginning hour. Um, I played Nier Automata, which is a really, really good demo. Uh, that's going to be a really good game. I can't wait to see what that's like. And I also got the Tales of Assyria, uh the demo played as well. They had two different modes. They had the battle mode and they had the scenario mode. And I played both. I also got uh, the comedy series up, you know, the vlogs, and I got the new comedy series uh, called um, called Stupidly Honest. I got vlog, uh, vlogs that I've been doing uh, in 2000. I'll be doing in 2017. You're gonna see more of these, so that's up. And I got the ta the new Azaria's Taste Test playlist for the year all up there as well. So um, getting back to uh, GameFly, first off, um, like I was saying, Resident Evil's uh, Biohazard. Is going to be coming out tomorrow. It's, uh, it's going to be shipped to me tomorrow. It's actually coming out on the 24th. Um, so I should have it by pretty much before the end of the week. As well as... Uh, as well as... Um, Tales of Vesuria. Uh, those games will be coming to me. So I just got to send back... Uh, this prototype game, I didn't really mean to get that. So don't expect me to play that. That's going right back. The World of Final Fantasy, uh, that is a game that I have had on the back burner for like several weeks. And I'm going full throttle into that game. Um, after tomorrow, which is going to be Monday, which is going to be the 23rd. Um, after that day, I'm going to have the rest of the week off. 
the rest of that week I'm gonna have off. So I'm gonna have nothing but time to dedicate to live streams and playing World of Final Fantasy. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to pull some overnight sessions. I may, I may or may not stream them, just depending on how I'm feeling. But it's just gonna be late night streams of me grinding, and then in the morning I'll play more of the story, trying to get the game finished as fast as possible. Because with Final Fantasy games, you know, normally they last pretty long. But I'm trying to get it done because I'm so far behind with the game that, you know, like I should have been done with this game pretty much by the end of November of 2016. But because the other games came out and I've been paying, I've been giving those more attention, World of Final Fantasy kind of fell on the back burner. And I know a lot of people wanted to see World of Final Fantasy. And for a lot of people, you know, World of Final Fantasy was really just something to hold over until Final Fantasy 15 came out. So mm -hmm. I understand, but I'm not one of those people that, that, that just starts a game and necessarily finish it. I know I did it with a couple games because they absolutely like deserve for me to just stop playing them at that moment. Like if you haven't seen me upload any new God Eater 2 footage because the game has became, uh, the game was just very unnecessarily long. Um, with Sword Art Online, uh, Hollow Realization, I stopped playing that game because at that point the damage was already done. Um, I was so tired of the game. I was so sick of it at that point. And this is the final boss of the game, assumingly. And I didn't want to go through another multi-stage boss fight like I had to do with Genesis to where it was just like a bunch of BS and all that other nonsense. Like, pretty much it just wore me out. And I just said, fuck it. I, I ended it where I did and I like, you know what? It is what it is. Um, with Deus Ex Mankind uh, Undivided. I'm going to try to play that game again. I don't know if they fixed the game breaking bug. For those of you who've seen that video, you guys can just go to the playlist, just type it up. Um, the Deus Ex Mankind Divided uh, the playthrough. I end up having to stop that because there was literally a game breaking bug that prevented me from continuing any further into the game so it was it was literally like my hands were up i couldn't do anything uh so games like that like i actually had you know reasons to to just leave them alone but these two like i'm looking forward uh with resident evil 7 biohazard i wanted to have the vr headset because i thought it would be cool you know have that as well as like a playstation camera so that you guys can see my reactions i thought that would have been cool but obviously you know finances and you know other things uh obviously they come first so i don't think i'll be able to, to play it in the method that i wanted to so that is what it is at the end of the day i can't really do anything about that but it's still going to be a fun experience and i'm still going to enjoy it because i haven't been excited for the res for a resident evil game in quite some time so um in Tales of Assyria, I haven't played a Tales game at all uh, since you know, since the PlayStation 2 and all, honestly. But that's like two generations of consoles going back that I haven't touched a Tales game. So this is going to be a good experience in itself. And then we got World of Final Fantasy this week. Um, also, uh, like I said, I've been live streaming more so on YouTube this week. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Uh, it's, that, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop live streaming on Twitch. Um, it just means that during my late night sessions, you guys can possibly catch me on, uh, on YouTube. Um, and also anytime I go live, I don't know if it alerts you guys on, 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 on my Twitter or on, on my Facebook fan page or anything like that. But the live stream, anytime I go live, you will see it right here on the live now, uh, area. Like the live stream goes right there. So if. Even if the video stops for whatever reason, just go back to right here and, you know, you'll be able to reload it from right there. So, like, we're good. Um, also, uh, like, the Twitch live stream is right here. You guys you know ADS Play. That's what it's called. Um, I know a lot of people are getting confused with that. It's not ADS Play 101. It's ADS Play, like, just one complete word on Twitch. So you guys can see that um, there. Uh, also, I wanted to plug in, you know, the GoFundMe is still going. Uh, it's called Chance for a Successful Dream. I've updated it uh, several times with the uh, with the video for uh, for the GoFundMe promo. Um, everything's there. This is to help me get new equipment, new necessary equipment. Um, 
because I need like a new digital camera, like a new a new laptop, honestly, if, if I'm going to do anything, because I plan on doing some uh, live streams. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get programs to live stream, um, you know, games like League of Legends and things like that. <clears throat> And I just don't have any extra funds. So when you, when you factor in like the, um, all the programs and uh, like the new laptop, which is going to be costly, uh, the one that I actually need. And then, you know, people want me to play with the, the VR and all, you know, the PlayStation VR and you know, all these other things that I absolutely, you know, need in order to make this business grow. I, I kind of need that. So... That's what this is set up for. It's, it's, it's meant to be a one and done um, campaign. Hence the reason why the goal is ten thousand dollars. Because once I get that, I'll be done and I'll have everything that I need. You know, I have enough money to get everything that I need, and that's it. So thank you. So click on the link in the video description. It'll take you right to it. Um, and thank you for everybody that will help me in the future. It, it's very much appreciated. Um, and this has just now been relaunched, like, not just just now, but it was like late last year, because I kind of fell back on, fell back on it, because I kind of suck at, like, promoting crowdfunding websites, I mean, I think I still got a Patreon page that's up, that I ain't did nothing with, because quite frankly, I don't like, you know, promoting crowdfunding, uh, you know, campaigns, things like that, but I told myself that I was going to try to put forth more effort in promoting this, and I've been doing good, you know, uh, with it. So, you know, it's right here. For those who said they wanted to donate, please, um, you know, help out any way you can. Uh, it's very much appreciated because I kind of do need that equipment. Um, now, before I uh, end this video, there's one final thing that I want to speak on. Um, a couple years back, you guys heard me make an announcement that you know I was officially doing uh, I was officially uh, signed to a YouTube partner network that partner network was uh, called the gaming network or TGN for short now I have been in talks with TGN recently about possible contract uh, negotiations or a contract termination because I am looking elsewhere to, um, I'm basically looking at, at other networks that can benefit me better. Uh, long story short, because I have a video coming out this week where I'm actually going to talk about, you know, my experiences with TGN, what I think about them, and why um, I may or may not be leaving them because I haven't really made up my mind yet. But. Right now, I'm in contract. I'm, I'm I'm in talks with him right now, and I'm I'm gonna put it to you like this. I'm not really happy with what I'm dealing with. Um, I'm gonna just pause the music right there because I don't want it to interrupt what I'm saying right here. But yeah, I'm not really happy with with my situation with them. It's um, you know, I noticed like a steady um, I don't know how to put it. I basically I'm in a position right now where it's like I'm noticing that they haven't really done anything for me. I mean, I think out of the two years that I've been with them, well, I've been with them since 2014. Um, and I think I've been noticing since like the two or three years that I've been with them that, you know, I think the only thing that they ever did was like, if that was they gave me like a shout out on Twitter, but I never seen anything, you know, in accordance to that. So I can't really say that they really did that because I didn't see any evidence of it. But they, I, you know, when you sign to a partner network, they're supposed to help you in ways that are, are meant to help you get more exposure and, you know, help you generate a, like a bigger fan base, a, a bigger viewership. Because in turn, that's helping them as well because. They're providing you with the ads to place on your videos and things like that. Um, like I said, I don't want to go too deep into it, but because I have a separate video that I'm going to be talking about that. And just know that, you know, 
it's looking like I'm I'm, I'm going to be moving on from TGN when my contract is up, um, and it, which is something else I got to talk about because, you know, they say that you can leave your contract at any time, but I'm going to just say that it's uh, some BS with that, and we're going to talk about it in that video. So I'm going to say look forward to that video, look forward to it, and it's going to it may start some controversy, but you know, I'm not that big on YouTube. I'm like small, small time. So, but I do think a video like that is necessary. And I think a lot of people uh, would agree with the things I've said, because I've seen other people's videos already and they're already, you know, bad mouth in DDTV, um, which is another uh, company that, um, uh, that the gaming network works with. Um, to pay uh, their partners, but it's like nonsense. But again, when, when, when I get the time this week, and I'm gonna have a lot of time to do it, probably as early as Tuesday, because that's gonna be like my first day off the, for the week. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of time to do it. So look forward to it at least Tuesday or Wednesday. More than likely, it's gonna be Tuesday because I'm very eager to get that video out. Um, so. Yeah, look forward to that. So that's everything, man. So this week we got Resident Evil 7 Biohazard coming out. Uh, we have, uh, like, we also have Tales of Vesuria, you know, two games in their respective uh, franchises that I have. I, it's been a while that I've been excited for them. You know, with Tales of Vesuria, they got a, a female as, like, the lead character. So that's always a you know a, a positive thing to see more females being in like the lead roles of video games these days, um, as well as a Resident Evil game, which I I don't think a lot of people have been you know excited for in a long time, because uh, they've been releasing remakes and you know HD remakes and then you know just re-releasing old stuff to the point where it's just like you know I don't really care, you know. <laughs> But yeah, this these two are to get you hyped. And World of Final Fantasy is going to be continuing this week as well. So look forward to a lot of that stuff. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the streams. Uh, thank you for, to the people who will donate to the uh, to the GoFundMe. Um, every little bit helps. I kind of need the equipment. So like the sooner the better. Um, yeah, man, and that's everything. So thank you guys very much for listening. Peace, and I will see you guys this week. Gameplay.